Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to install and set up SGTBT web server on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Alright, so there are a couple of things that we need to do after installing SGTBT web server that is setting up the firewall ports and setting up the SE Linux file context. And here I have the Red Hat 9 running on my KVM virtual machine. So now let me do the SSH Red Hat at the rate rail line. Uh, KVM host. Now let me give the password for it. And the first task is to install the HTTPD itself. Now let's do this DNF install HTTPD hyphen and let's give sudo password. We are done. Now let me clear up the terminal. Now let's start the HTTPD service. sudo systemctl start HTTPD. And now let's make it persistent. That is automatically starting the service at boot. So let's do the sudo systemctl enable HTTP. And we are done. So now let's go on to the cd slash bar slash www slash html. And I have some HTML contents here. That is my index.html, including the JS and the CSS file. Now let me uh, go ahead and add the port 80 to the firewall. On the Red Hat based distribution, it uses the firewall daemon on the background. So that's why uh, whatever you do or whichever port you use, you must have to add it to the firewall daemon. So now we are just going to add the firewall D service. So let me do the sudo firewall cmd add service I've been, I've been, uh, i think we need to use the permanent before uh, per manent hyphen hyphen add service that is going to be http and express the enter uh, i think uh, okay so the service is already enabled now let's do the firewall cmd hyphen hyphen reload so now let's for the firewall cmd hyphen hyphen list service so we have the http service right there and that is much now let's go on to the browser and let's check it here we go slash index dot html all right and here we go we got the post HTTP web server that is hosted on our Red Hat Enterprise Linux. All right, now let's talk about setting up the custom directory and the custom port. On the Red Hat based distribution, if you are using the custom port and the custom directory, you must have to supply the proper file context and you have to add port to the SE Linux as well as on the firewall D. Now, let's go ahead. Uh, let me clear up the terminal and let's go on to the root directory and let's make the custom directory. Uh, I think we need to go on to the sudo. Uh, let's do the mkdir slash custom and under the custom I am just going to make the okay. I am just going to copy the content here. I don't need to make any other sub directories and now let's configure the sc linux policy here so before configuring the sc linux policy i would love to go on to the man page that is the documentation so that's to like treasure for the linux user now let's do the man sc manage app context and uh, press the enter and just press the shift and g key combination on your keyboard in order to go to the last of the man page and here we have the command sc manage f context hyphen a hyphen t followed by the file context and the regex that uh, selects the all the file on the parent directory so now let's go ahead and copy this command i'm not interested to type this command manually uh, although i can just do it myself now let me quit from there and let's go to the back is back and let's replace the directory with the uh, custom one and uh, let, let's press the enter okay so we are done uh it's already defined okay fine restore con hyphen r hyphen b followed by the 
custom directory now let's press the enter okay all right we got that and uh, it is successfully relabeled to httpd underscore sys underscore content underscore t so we are almost done and we need to copy some content from the parse as as www slash html directory because we have some html uh, stuff on that directory now let's go on to the custom directory and let's copy from slash actually i want to move it slash parse as www slash html slash uh asterisk to here and we are almost done and let's do the ls happen z uh l here and as you can see we have successfully assigned the proper file context to the all the files and directory that exist on the uh, custom directory so we are almost done and now let me clear up the terminal and let's go on to the slash x slash http d slash s uh on slash uh, stdbd.com under that directory let me specify the custom directory and the port all right so here we got the port as well now let me just replace this with 8989 all right uh, now let's go for the directory mm, okay so here we got the document root so document root is the directory where your all the website contents exist now let me uh, replace this with the custom and let me replace this one as well slash custom all right and let me write and quit from here now we have added our custom port to the uh sdbd configuration file now we need to add this port to the sl linux as well as on the firewall d now let's do this sudo firewall cmd hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add port is equal to 8989 followed by the tcp all right let's do the firewall cmd i can i can reload and uh, we also need to add this port to the sc linux now let's do the sc manage port i can l grep stpd so now here as you can see all the standard port are uh, by default added to the sc linux if you are using the custom port or the non standard port we have to add it to the sc linux so for that we can do something like uh, uh before adding let me show you the man base of the sc linux sc man yeah, sc man is port hyphen hyphen help all right so we can do something like sc man is port hyphen a hyphen t that is for the context so that is gonna be the http port uh, underscore t and uh, followed by the hyphen p and protocol will be the tcp and followed by the port and that is gonna be 8989 and let's press the enter and we are done so let me clear up the terminal and let me go on to the browser before that let me just Restart the HTTP service. Okay, <laughs> I just forgot that. Okay, now let's go on to the browser. Now let's do the 8989 All right, so here we go. The website is working. So that is much to do with this tutorial and and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel for the more linux related contents so have a nice day